Good morning, everybody out there in YouTube land. And I hope y'all are having a great day. I am having absolutely a fabulous day. But then again, I absolutely love this job. Love company I'm working for. Just everything is good, good, good in my world. Well, I wanted to talk to you a little bit this morning. Uh, I'm getting ready to stop at one of my uh, favorite places in the whole wide world. The A&A &A truck stop here on Highway 35, just south of Dayton. I say just south, probably about an hour south of Dayton on thir Highway 35. But I want to talk to you a little bit about predatory carriers. Because there's nothing that really gets underneath my craw worse than anything than the way that some of these companies take advantage of the new guys coming into the industry. They destroy people's lives is what they do. They take advantage of the weak. I mean, there's nothing more deplorable than what some of these companies do to the new driver coming into the industry just because they don't know any better. But it happens every day and more often than not. I'm going to tell you, you need to be real careful about who you listen to. There is a very fine line between a representative or a salesman and a con man. Now, a representative or a good salesman is going to take the benefits in his product and show you how it's going to benefit you. And when he's representing that product, he's interested in your best interest. A con man doesn't really care about that. He doesn't care about your interest. It's all about what he can talk you into that benefits him. How much change goes in his purse. How much money he gets to stick in his pocket by getting you to sign on the dotted line. And I'll tell you what sparked this uh, video this morning was the fact that U.S. Carrier's contract that they have drivers sign is going all over the uh, YouTube community this morning. It's kind of going viral. If you read this contract, what they would get a driver to sign to get a job, this is predatory. Absolutely predatory. There's all kinds of things in that contract. It says, it's not forced dispatch, but if you... Uh, refuse a load, they're going to charge you $200 for refusing the load. Sounds like forced dispatch to me. If they call you or send you a text message and you don't return their call within so many minutes, they're going to fine you $25. I never heard of any crap like this. If your truck's not clean after a trip, they can fine you up to $200? If you're in route and your truck has an oil leak or an antifreeze leak, they can find you for this. I mean, the predatory things that are put into this contract are pretty unbelievable. And there's a YouTube trucker out there that's promoting this U.S. carriers like they're the best thing since sliced bread. Ah, here's my little favorite spot in the world. I tell you, keep your eyes open. You don't really need anybody to tell you the truth. The truth is right in front of you all the time. And you can spot a fake. For instance, you know, somebody when they go on YouTube, they have to set everything up just right and set a fake dog behind them and do all these kind of things. What are you just putting on a show or or what? I mean if you want a dog in your video, get a real dog. It's just insane. Be real careful who you listen to out there. Because there are people that are just lying and waiting, looking for an opportunity to take advantage of you. They prey on the weak and the uninformed. Let me tell you a little bit about this truck stop right here. This is the A&A. &A. 
I'm actually going to go in up here. I generally turn in right there, but I'm going to show you the A&A. &A. They got a nice restaurant here. And I'm going to tell you this restaurant has some of the best food. Reasonably priced, too. They don't rip your head off. You can go in there and have a real nice meal. Home-style cooking. If I could stop here every day, I'd turn into one major fat boy. This is one of my favorite spots. I see one of my other Magnum drivers is here. I'm gonna creep by him real slow. See if we can figure out who this is. Who be at my favorite stop in the world here? 1669. I don't know who that is. Oh well. One of the reasons why I like to stop here because if my dogs get to run around in the country, look right out there in front of me, right there. There's two little lakes out there in that tall grass. That's a good place for the bing and the bang to go for a run and go for a swim, all that good stuff. So we're gonna get out of here and let them do that. Let me log off here. But be real careful who you who you listen to out there, guys. Some of these people aren't telling you the whole truth. For instance, if you want a dog, get a real dog. Ain't that right, Bang? Or back here, see the bingers. Get you a real dog. We're gonna take the dogs for a walk. Stay. See, watch how we do this. They're just waiting for the command. Come on, come on. Real dogs, see, real dogs. Come here, girls. Hey! Come here, bangers. Go! Anyway, get a real dog. Gotta take the pee break first, of course. Let them get out there and run and be dogs once in a while. Anyway, y'all have an absolutely fabulous day. Enjoy your life. Don't let nobody take advantage of you. Educate yourself what's really going on in the industry. Find out all the opportunities that are available to you. You know, before you decide what company you ought to go to, get on the internet, do some research, find out what a company actually offers, find all the ins and outs, know everything before you go to that company. And the last thing you do is go out to the truck stops and visit the drivers that drive for that company and ask them how happy they are and what they really love about their company and what they dislike about their company. Because all companies have good and bad. It's a trucking industry and it's a trucking company. There are good things and there's bad things in all of them. Now, I honestly believe that my company's one of the best. Absolutely one of the most comfortable seats you'll ever sit in the industry. They pay well, they take good care of their people, and we drive the finest equipment. But still a trucking company. There's good and there's bad. One thing with Magnum, they're going to want you to run some miles. I run over 3,000 miles every week, and they pay me well for it. But that's what I want, and if you want that, might be a good place for you to go.